We're nearing the end of our epic move. We've, over the past eight months, we've successfully moved approximately five million specimens from here to Varsity Drive. So some of the highlights of the collection, especially the, the ethanol collection that we moved, include a, a really marvelous collection of freshwater fishes uh, from both North and South America. And we also have a, a truly marvelous collection of amphibians and reptiles. One of the, easily one of the best in the world. This is one of the favorites that people like, is this large goliath frog. This is a goliath frog from Cameroon. And interestingly, somebody tried to enter one in the frog jump out in Calaveras County, California. And people claimed, oh, it's not fair, it's not fair, because he's too big. But you could see that this is a swimming frog, not a jumping frog. So these are Brachesia minima from Madagascar, probably the smallest dwarf chameleons. And you can see if you look closely, this one has uh, his tongue out, an Indian cobra that was preserved with his hood spread. Most catfishes don't have any, any scales. They're, but many of them in South America have these large armored bony plates along their back especially. And many of the lower Korea catfishes all ha are characterized by having this very long delicate filament that uh, is quite often doesn't survive piranha attack. The new facility allows us to keep the animals in a, an actually a better facility, a better in terms of actual safety of the specimens because of the fire suppression and climate control systems. That will also preserve them better indefinitely into the future. And also the new facility has much better access facilities and labs to work on the specimens for our uh, own students and, and researchers and for also for our visiting scholars. So the, the upgrade in the collection facility itself in terms of the care of the specimens, their safety and the research utility is substantial.